Hello pilots, and this is the CDB Academy with your host FFA, and today we're going to be talking about how to upgrade your modifiers, modules, and your weapon systems. So there are five marks of upgrades. First is the default, which you get from buying from the armory or simply just buying a ship. These are gray. Next to mark two, you have green. And then from green to mark three, which is blue. And then from blue to purple, mark four. And then mark four to mark five, which is orange. So to get to green, you simply upgrade, right click, uh, choose one of these. And then you can either spend credits or use a green upgrade kit. You can find an upgrade kit while you're in the loot stage after winning a PvP or PvE battle. Once you have a green module, you can upgrade using loyalty vouchers. This symbol here, um, it tells you which type you need if you pan over it. It tells me right now that I need Warden's loyalty vouchers, which are from the credits. Um, if you haven't seen my credit video, I suggest you go and look at it. I think I'll post the link below. Once you get purple, I mean, sorry, once you get blue, I need to find um, something, an upgrade kit. Sorry. Uh, okay. Um. Okay. I'm trying to see a good one. Pulsar? Let me try that one. Okay, let's see. Active modules. Guard. Uh, two. And then mark two. Do I have any of those? Okay, that's good. Okay, so I have a blue one. So let me just put that on one of my tier 2 guard ships. Um, let's use the Zealot AE. Fit that into one of the active modules. So see this arrow right here? Click that. Are you sure you want to remove Pulsar 2 from the ship? Yeah, whatever. Okay, so you can use artifacts or a purple upgrade kit, which you can find um, also in loot, in the loot stage after you win a PvP or PvE battle. You can see how much artifacts you have by painting over this right here, and it'll show you everything from your GS to your credits to how much loyalty vouchers you have in each category, and it will show the amount of artifacts that you have. Okay, so let's upgrade this either using the artifacts or the purple upgrade kit. Usually, I just wait till I have a purple upgrade kit because I just like to collect the artifacts. So let's upgrade that. And now I have a purple pulsar, Mark 4. So if you want to get to Mark 5, you have to go to the workshop. You need a Mark 4 and then the required crafting materials. Okay, let's see. Uh, da, 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 I don't know. Maybe I don't have one of those. Uh, well, that's basically just how you do it. You get Mark Four of the required one. Get the amounts that you need. And manufacture. So, just to recap, there are five marks. Mark one is the default. Then there's mark two, which is green. Mark three, which is per uh, blue. Mark four, which is purple, and mark five, which is orange. As you go up, they progressively get better. And usually, gear helps, 
but most of the time it's skill that will help pull you through because you can be a noob with orange stuff and still lose but if you're if you're a really good player with white or green equipment you can easily smash another player so gear helps it definitely helps but it's not the main factor when you win so i hope this helps you guys this is ffa from the cdb academy post your questions or comments below and don't forget to subscribe see you in see you in battle pilots